So again, this is going to be very short today. Do you see the pretest up on your screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if if uh, Evan would like it that I did it this way, but this is actually the second question from the test, and I pulled it off. Tomorrow when I go over it with you, I'm not going to be taping that part, just so you know, just because of the fact <clears throat> it's a test, so it might be used next year. I don't know. But I will go over it with you. What you are asked to do is to do this particular program, not a hard program in that this is the interface. So you've got a label, a text box, a button, another label, another label, and maybe a text box or whatever. You come in here and you put in an IP address, all right? These are the ones that are basically, or I'm sorry, here, that are built in for you. So you can create a list, you can create arrays. I want you to do this twice. I want you to do it the first time in a non-object oriented way. And I want you to do it the second time in an object oriented way. Okay, when you look down here, I think he made a mistake because this says 127.0.0.1. That's your local machine. And these would be the services you'd have. But then he says that same number again, and he says none. So I think that was supposed to be a different number that did not exist in this list. Does that make sense to both of you? Yeah, I think yes. it says it at the bottom of the page. Yeah, I put it in there. He didn't put this in. I did. Oh, okay. All right. But um, so this is your class. Plus, you're going to go in, and you're going to need to create two additional methods that are shown right here. If you don't know this, and I probably should have mentioned it before, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Anything with a minus means it's private. Anything with a plus means it's public. All right. And let's, yeah, as you, as Keegan mentioned, so the user can enter an IP address. If the IP address is in the table, you display the associated information. If it's not, you display none. Okay. There's only two methods in here. They are scan IP address and show computer. So that's it's you, you know, you might think, well, that's not a lot of work. But the thing you have to account for is in here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine services. Here we've got one, and here we've got three. All right, so you've got to be able to handle that. How do you handle that? Services is an array. All right, and you might want to just set it up as an array with all nine of these services. And then depend, you know, based on this, only show some of the services. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. So again, first implement this as a non-object oriented program. So act as though we didn't have the class. As I say there, use arrays instead of a list. I would recommend that you set up this array. Well, really, this array, this array, and this array. All right. So it really isn't that hard when you think about it that way, because all right, you you know, you might say, well. There's different numbers in here. So I would have in here <clears throat> all nine numbers. In here, I'd have 53, and I would have eight zeros. Here, I would have these three numbers and six zeros. Then when you check, you know, in here, you'd print out everything that's not a zero, and you'd print out everything that's not a zero. Does that make sense? Yes. That's probably the easiest way to do it. I'm sure there's other ways as well. If you come up with another way, hey, go for it. That's not a problem. So next, redo this as an object-oriented problem. So in other words, add the class. You'll probably want to change this from, a, um, from three arrays to a list as we have been doing. All right? And then finally, go back to the example I gave you yesterday, that store inventory program, the one 
where I sent you the interface and do that as a non-object oriented program. All right, so we're gonna go over all three of these tomorrow morning and we'll take our time. There's no reason to hurry. And again, the hands-on test will be Monday. I actually think that I gave you in here, I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know. I think I gave you in here, I think I gave you the harder of the two problems. When you do the test on Monday, you will again do the program that you're asked to do twice. You will do it in a non-object oriented way and you will do it in an object oriented way. So you'll do it the first time and you won't use the class and then you'll do it the second time and you'll use the class. Now you've seen me kind of for lack of better words, bounce back and forth between doing something, um, between doing a program non-object oriented then object oriented, all right? And if you think it's easier to do the OOP one first, then do that. And if you think it's easier to do the non-OOP one first, then do that. But probably what would be in your best interest is to at least see if you can get this stuff, where is it? just this even done in four hours or however long this takes you. Because again, on Monday, as I mentioned, you know, it, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to stop you around quarter to 12 on Monday. And I'm going to say, okay, let's just stop here. Take everything that you've got and, um, you know, zip, put, put your two folders that you're working with into one folder, zip it and email it to me. I need to know by 1155 that I have, if four of you take the test, that I have four emails. If two of you take the test, I have two emails. If three of you take the test, I have three emails. So, uh, I mean, work on this. I think it's probably going to be easier that if you have questions, just email me, all right? And, you know, because then you can break off right now. If something comes up where you're, you know, you both come up with the same question or whatever, then maybe I'll get back on again, all right? But um, that's really about all I had, unless either of you have any questions. No, I don't have any. No, me neither. All right, then unless, unless you email me with something, we'll meet up again at 8.05 tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay, thank you. All right, thank yeah. you. I'll see you then.